determine the first three terms of the sequence what are we given the 19th term of the arithmetic sequence is 11 while the 31st term is 5. so the theme of the videos from now moving forward we're not solving the problem we're just playing around with the ideas just sticking to the basics so they're saying that t19 is equals to 11. But we know fully well that we can also find T19 by substituting 19 in place of N on the arithmetic sequence, the general formula. So we have A plus 19 minus 1 multiplied by D is equal to 11. So this is just A, D, A plus 18D being equal to 11. So that is that information when we write it in a mathematical way the other information it says that uh, the, the, the first term is 5 so t31 is equal to 5 but we can do the same thing we did for t19 we can say a plus 31 minus 1 multiplied by d is equal to 5 so a plus 30d is equal to 5 that's where we are what are we looking for the first three terms of the sequence so if we find a and we find d we're going to be able to find any term of the sequence so let's do that we can make a the subject of the formula in the first equation we're going to get 11 minus 18 d on the second equation we make a the subject of the formula as well 5 minus 30 d so 11 minus 18 d should be equal to 5 minus 30 d so 11 minus 5 that is 6 and then minus 30 plus 18 that is minus 12 d so the difference is minus 1 over 2 bangong then we have here A, if we have D, will be 11 minus 18 multiplied by minus 1 over 2. This is equals to 20. So we know that T1 is equal to A and it is 20. And then T2 is equal to 20 plus the difference, which is minus 1 over 2. This is equal to 19.5. And then T3 will be 20 plus 2d so minus 1 over 2 this will be equals to 19 so t1 t2 t3 there we go 2.1.2 determine the general term of the sequence we have a which is 20 we have the difference which is minus 1 over 2 so tn will be 20 plus n minus 1 multiply by minus 1 over 2 so we're going to have 20 minus 1 over 2 n plus 1 over 2 so minus 1 over 2 n plus 41 over 2 is t n right 2.1.3 the sum of the first 81 terms so we know the equation for the sum of an arithmetic sequence n over 2 multiplied by 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by the difference so n is 81 right we divide that by 2 2 a is 20 plus 81 minus 1 multiplied by d we have d we have d uh, the difference is minus 1 over 2 you put that in your calculator you get zero so that is the sum of the first 81 terms 2.2 quadratic pattern we're supposed to find the next two terms so we have 2 5 10 17 26 the difference here is 3 5 7 and 9 the constant is 2 as we can easily see so 9 plus 2 that is 11 11 plus 26 
then she will be 37 and then 2 this is 13 and this is 15. so the next two terms is 37 and 50. all right okay 2.1 oh 2.2.2 uh, uh, 2.2.1 i mean 2.2.2 on the other end show that tn is equals to n squared plus 1 is the general pattern right we're supposed to okay let's see so we know that 2a is equals to the second difference so 2a is equals to 2 as we can clearly see that the second difference is 2 so a is equals to 1 3a plus b is equals to t2 minus t1 which is equals to 3 so 3a plus b is equals to 3 we get 3 plus uh, 3 multiplied by 1 plus b is equal to 3 b is equal to 0 a plus b plus c is equal to the first term which is 2 so we have 1 plus 0 plus c which is equal to 2 c is equal to 1 so tn is equal to a n squared plus b n plus c so this is going to be n squared plus one there we go 2.2.3 determine the term of the pattern that is the value of 290. some people for some reason will substitute 290 in place of n which i totally don't understand so tn is equals to n squared plus one the equation is saying calculate the term of the pattern that is the value of 290 so the value is 290 so we are looking for n so 290 minus 1 289 is equal to n squared n is equal to 17 or n is not equal to minus 17 so n is equal to 17 is the answer therefore for this question all right and then moving forward between which two consecutive terms of the quadratic pattern will the first difference be 25. There's two ways in which we can answer it, right? We can use the quadratic as it is, or we can use the arithmetic, which is the difference of the quadratic. So in the previous question that I solved under uh, quadratic patterns, I used the terms of the quadratic pattern itself to find two consecutive terms of which the difference was given. Now I'm gonna use the arithmetic okay so why am i using the arithmetic let me show you something t1 on the arithmetic let me just change the color first all right t1 on the arithmetic is between t2 and t1 on the quadratic and t3 on the arithmetic is between t4 and t3 on the uh, on the on the quadratic so we need to find a term the position of 25 on the arithmetic and then if it is let's say for instance it is term number 15 then in the quadratic pattern it will be between t16 and t15 that's what we're proposing so tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d so tn is equal to a a is 3 on the arithmetic plus n minus 1 multiplied by the difference which is 2 so we're looking for the position of 25 right so 25 will be 3 plus 2n minus 2 so 25 is equal to 3 plus or not 3 anymore but 1 1 plus 2n 24 is equal to 2n n is equal to 12 so it is between t13 um yeah it is between t13 and t12 but what is the question saying between which two consecutive terms of the quadratic pattern will the first difference be 25 it is between t12 and t13 but is that what they're looking for or they actually want us to find the terms it's a bit vague but let's just find the terms what is t12 t12 is equals to 12 squared 
plus 1. This is obviously 145. <laughs> and then T13 is equals to 13 squared plus 1. So 169 plus 1, that is 170. So there we go. Equation 2.